Communities across the nation are adapting to a new fire normal. With fire size and severity increasing, towns are seeking solutions that balance the interests of safety, economy, and nature. The small city of Ashland in southwest Oregon, just 10 miles from the California border, believes in a collaborative solution. Sitting right at the base of the Siskiyou Mountains, the town blends into the surrounding forest, creating a potential fire hazard that rises with the temperature each summer. The forest also happens to filter the town's drinking water, is habitat to unique wildlife, and benefits the local tourism economy. What you might call Ashland's natural setting is really an integral part of what we are. The forests and the presence of nature in this community are what attract the creative people that make our economy go. The reason people have come to Ashland, chosen to make it their home, visited Ashland since the very beginning is our natural setting. The beauty of our setting and the resource that we have here that could provide the underpinnings for a community. The forests in the Ashland watershed have been protected since before the turn of the previous century. So there's quite an array of intact habitats and old growth, but it's also the source of the abundant clean drinking water for the town of Ashland. In addition to Northern Spotted Owl, which use the old growth in the watershed, we have a robust population of the Pacific Fisher. It's, it's a large weasel that is dependent on these kinds of forest habitats and the prey species. We believe as a chamber and business sector that the preservation, the health of the forests that are surrounding our community is critical not only to our water supply, but to the long-term viability of our economy. Recognizing that the health of their economy is directly tied to the health of the surrounding forests spurred Ashland into action. In 2010, community, political, business, environmental, and safety leaders came together with the U.S. Forest Service and formed the Ashland Forest Resiliency Stewardship Project, or AFR, to collaboratively reduce the risk of destructive megafires in their forests through selective thinning of trees and planned controlled burns. We are so closely embedded into the watershed that management of the watershed for us is absolutely a question of survival for us. But the forest is also a threat. We have this buildup of fuel that we've been working to reduce now for close to four years. Every dry season, that carries the possibility of a catastrophic Oakland Hills type fire. Jerry Franklin is a forest ecologist who has been studying fire and forests in the West for over 50 years. Well, I have a long history of involvement with these forests. Yeah, and I've always been really interested in the Ashland watershed as an example of Ponderosa Pine Douglas fir forest. Uh, the Ashland watershed, much of it represents a situation in which fire was a frequent part of that forest landscape. It was largely responsible for the incredible pine forest that exists there. Where you have forests that experience frequent fire, it's an extremely important in maintaining the complexity of those systems. And what happened at Ashland Watershed was that basically we stopped fire from coming. And when you do that in a system that is characterized by frequent fire, you very quickly develop a forest system that becomes extraordinarily vulnerable to stand replacement, catastrophic kind of fire. For the past century as a nation, we've tried to prevent and put out fires, and we've been largely successful. In doing so, we've created dense forests with an unnatural buildup of tinder, which fuel dangerous megafires that risk human safety, water supplies, and wildlife. A modern understanding of the natural role of fire is emerging. We've created a, a fuel model up there that really isn't natural and there's a possibility of having a very extensive megafire. When we disturb the vegetation to that degree, we have a potential of severe erosion of the watershed. It's a granitic soil and producing a runoff into our reservoir, and that is our only source of drinking water. Fires used to burn through this landscape about once every decade, and they were light, low-intensity burns. They stayed near the ground and tended to maintain 
the large old trees like this pine behind me. The U.S. Forest Service invited the City of Ashland, the Lomakatsi Restoration Project, and the Nature Conservancy to design and complete the on-the-ground treatments to restore forest health and safeguard the community. Partners allow us to understand the diversity within the community and they build relationships within the communities. They are able to engage with community leaders and they also bring capacity in terms of their knowledge around ecosystem restoration. This project has also provided significant economic benefits to the surrounding communities. The AFR project has provided living wage jobs and workforce training and also the sale of logs to local mills has created additional jobs and the funds from those logs that are sold are then reinvested back into the project to accomplish future restoration work. The work of the Ashland Forest Resiliency Project to date has focused on mechanical work. This is work done by hand crews and sometimes by machinery, including helicopters, to remove the overabundance of fuels that have accumulated over decades of fire suppression. But now we're moving to the next stage, which is actually using fire to keep fuel in the watershed under control. And if we can do that, we're going to be really a pioneering community because of the complexity of all the issues in our watershed. The erosive soils, the steep slopes, the endangered species, old growth and old growth habitat. Multiple recreational uses going on there, plus it's our source of water. We're going to add fire to that mix to enable us to be able to afford a sustainable management of fuels in the watershed. It's not trying to dominate nature. It's trying to dance with nature. The process before any application is done up there is amazing. We get all four partners and we very carefully and scientifically look at the impacts of these treatments and how they're going to impact the flora, the fauna, the future of the watershed, and any interests that have been brought forward. After these treatments are made, there's very careful monitoring to find out, did we produce the results that we wanted? And if not, how do we modify future actions up there to produce the results? In continuing to learn and adapt as they go, the people of Ashland are hopeful they're finding the right balance for their forests. So not only is their town more healthy, but it can be a model that other communities can learn and build from. The project of AFR can help serve as a model not only locally, but also regionally and nationally. It's a model in which uh, partners have come together and now they are working very, very closely together around common goals and common purpose there within the community. Our watershed is really not the responsibility of one organization. It's responsibility of all of us, working together in partnership. What we're doing now is we're going for our completion funding for the project. And to do that, we're reframing how we do the whole project. And that is, this is a collaboration between the Forest Service and a community that gets its precious water resources from the watershed. So the city has stepped up and is now putting direct funding into completion of the project. And we are working with the Forest Service and with our congressional representatives to get the remaining money to finish this. The Ashman Watershed is the premier location in which we can begin to work on ecosystem restoration as well as protecting watershed and recreational values. This is a really different era in ecosystem management. It's really the era of healing. The benefits are going to come over many generations. One way or another, the Aston Watershed is going to be a poster child. If in fact we take our responsibility seriously and begin to restore that system so that fire can play the normal role that it would play in these forests, it's going to be a green poster child and not a blackened poster child.